Ah! Uh, that's as good I'm, I'm guessing. Feel a view, whatever, it's a golf. Start tutorial. Welcome, Hugh Man. Hugh Man. I am Cosmodius, your host for the multidimensional exchange program. I'd give you a hug, but unfortunately I am a being of pure energy and you'd be instantly incinerated. Your primitive universe is very charming, but I'm sure you're excited to learn from us higher dimensional beings. It's got to be aliens. Welcome to 4D Golf. Your training will begin in a more primitive dimension. Alright, walk to the crystal for more guidance. Move around with the WSD and look around with mouse. When you're ready, press spacebar to start put up putting and you'll be teleported to the ball. The score again? Okay. Uh, to put, hold down spacebar and use mouse to hit the ball. You can also zoom in and out using scroll wheel. Alright, that's fine. Uh, I can't... Oh. Okay. I was going for style points. This is the tutorial, it's all good. We're learning the ways. Hello? Part 2, they said. They lied. Okay. Now we're just trolling, man. It's fine, it's a tutorial.
Triple Boogie. <laughs> it happens to the best of us. Me, of course, being literally the best of us. Now it's time to open your third eye. Here, the fourth dimension is not time, but a new direction of space. To imagine 4D, let's think about a lower dimension first. This is this 2D eyeball lives in a 2D universe. It only has one dimensional vision that scans the world. Uh, yes. But if the 2D eye was dropped into a 3D world, it would be able to rotate its 1D vision in new ways. However, 3D objects would appear and disappear from view. That is somewhat true. The eye would also be able to move in a new direction, but it would still perceive the 3D world in slices. Yeah. In four dimensions, your 3D eyeball can also move in two new directions called Anna and Kara. Uh, your eye will also have new ways to rotate. These will cause your 3D slice of the world to change. Move in the fourth dimension with Q and E, Anna and Kara. I hold left click with mouse to look around in 4D. Walk to the crystal for more info. compass on earth only rotates on a single 2D plane, since the surface of a sphere is locally flat, but in 4 dimensions a 3D compass is needed to navigate because flat surfaces are 3 dimensional. You have a compass like this in the upper right corner, Beside nor besides north, south, east and west there are two new cardinal directions, Ant and Kent. My god, the actual goal for 4 dimensional beings. Okay. Hold left click while looking to rotate your camera in 4D. Okay. Uh, very dank. I'm guessing the hole is open now. No. Um, I guess. What the fuck? Where am I? Press spacebar to stop. Start putting. Okay. Not bad, I'll be honest. <sighs> All right, birdie. <laughs> I hate when the games require 141 IQ. Never lucky. You will now receive an essential tool to navigate in 4D. To explain how it works, let's try in a lower dimension. This tool brings your eye down to track and then tilts it into the new dimension. The walls of the track now appears to surround you. Okay. I'm tracking the walls of my side, so... I'm tracking the walls of my side in the 3D space now, I'm guessing. In a 4D world, the walls around you look like 3D box. And since the gravity direction isn't in the slice anymore, it appears like you're floating when you're actually walking. This perspective is called volume view. Volume view can help see the 3D shape of flat courses. Use it frequently to help you navigate. Press V to toggle the volume view. You can also put in this view. Walk to the crystal for more info. Okay. Uh, okay. I guess so.
I lost track of the ball. GG. Alright, here's the ball. Okay. on the same level uh, on the same height or whatever the fuck they want to call it actually plane have you wondered what all those ghostly shadows are even when objects aren't visible in your slice their ghosts are still projected into it this is like a sixth sense for the fourth dimension Huh? Wait, what? Even when objects aren't visible in your slice, their ghosts are still projected into it. Why is that? I don't understand how that makes sense. If you're not looking at an object, their ghost. What is a ghost? Ghost is not a shadow. So what is a ghost? Now this isn't this isn't gameplay mechanics. This is like there. This is like s real science they're trying to implement, right? Isn't it? Or somewhat? Or theoretical? I feel like they're trying to implement theoretical because what they've said so far uh, is is somewhat. Reasonable. The ghost is just to help. Oh, okay. So this is just a video game one. Sometimes obstacle blocks your views. For example, hills in volume view may appear as walls. To help navigate, you can turn off the slicing, leaving only the ghost projections. This is most useful in the volume view. There's one toggle slicing. It's basically a shadow in 4D space. A shadow casted from what? It doesn't require a light source. I guess everything requires a light source or we can't see it, but... Um, yeah, I don't know what the fuck you want from me here, man. Like... Ah, oh, shit, I'm lost. Uh, okay. Ah, shit. Uh, how do you even code this? I don't know, man. This is very... This <laughs> I don't know, man. Oh, that's a fucking achievement in itself, man. Honestly. How did I change the...
Where's the goddamn hole, man? Where's the goddamn hole? <laughs> I'm getting motion sickness, man. Where the fuck is this hole? So there, I think it's there. I think it's there. No, this is where I started. No, is it? Holy fuck! I'm getting actual cancer here. The fourth dimension is very radioactive. Alright, can we move? Oh, it's over there. Okay, uh... That's not gonna do it. Alright. Ah, shit. That's good. Alright, uh, this should this should do it. Yeah, I see it. It's on a plane under Alright, I got this. Got it on our altitude. <laughs> triple boogie. I'll fucking take a triple boogie, man. <laughs> you kidding me? <laughs> I feel like these pars aren't on par with what they should be for this uh, dimensional. If ghost projections become too crowded, use your second sight to alter them. Yes, of course, my second sight. I was only using my third eye. I forgot all about my second sight. Almost on our, it's on our plane, but the problem lies in. Awkward, awkward spot, but nothing is impossible. These are 
obstacle actually, I think. Aren't these obstacles? No, they haven't spawned in yet. It's ghosts. Okay, I got par. I'm very happy with par. Here's one final but very important tool. You can find a lost ball or hole instantly, so you don't need to always search for it. Uh, press H to find the ball. Hole, press B to find the ball. I feel like they could have told me this like on the first tutorial. Alright. Uh, is this the hole right next to me? Holy shit! That's right, bitch. Batters. I think my Mensa certified brain can't handle 4D, huh? I invented 4D. Alright. If you had a bad putt, you can reset the ball while it's still rolling using R. But it will still count against your score. That's cheating. Ball, hole. I'm pressing H, why can't I see the hole? My god. I don't know where the hole is. I'm guessing it's over there by the... By that side. Okay, looks good. unavoidable unless hang on I can do this Ha <laughs> ha 
Ah. Happy Gilm. Same plane as the windmill thingies. My ball, however, is not there. Okay. This one is fairly easy, I would say. Like, like this. It's like it's open exactly on that spot now. That's why the windmill is white exactly above that. Lucky man, are you fucking kidding me? 
That's so unlucky. And this is not gonna work, because I have to get the angle now. Motherfucker! <sighs> this was the fucking tutorial. This was the fucking tutorial, man. Can. Oh my god. Join us. Ah, oh. uh, this is. I, w I would play this in multiplayer where everyone is equally bad, but uh, now I just feel <laughs> playing this game. Man. If it had multiplayer, if only. Hey. All right. My God.